Holy f how do we get over this? We're gonna walk right up through here, man. We got some skid marks in the dirt over here where they've pushed down. It's pretty fresh. We'll take a walk back in there and see what we can find. Well, that's a sheer cliff face, dude. Study here. Get your compass in there too. I don't need a compass. I know which way we're in. I got a track right there. So what if we try and cut off this point right here, or do we want to head through this lowland here? Oh, tracker's right behind us, man. Oh. The skinny one looked at me and grabbed the fat guy and away they went. So I knew which way they were going. When I came back out and told Neil about it, he, uh, he pretty much knew exactly where they were gonna come out. They go up the uh, west side of the... Yeah, they went up and around the waterfall there. We're gonna have to get around them somehow. An old cabin, top of this cliff. I think we can get around and get a bite on it. Okay. That guy doesn't make any noise, does he? to see some fucking plaid shirt standing there. And anybody who knows me knows how much I hate fucking plaid. <laughs> you know, we're sitting there filling up with water. We look over, we see some dumb redneck with a cowboy hat. He knew he couldn't get us. He was off his horse. But it kind of got us scrambling. I mean, at first, we were just sort of doing a light jog. We weren't really worried about it. But after that, the pressure was really on. Well, obviously, we were on the only trail we could take. And he's going to make it a lot quicker on horseback than we are on foot. It's a good thing we got into the slop here. But I didn't know I was gonna have to climb a goddamn mountain. Well, we're in the mountains. So. Should have brought ropes and crampons, dude. I've seen Man Tracker on the TV. I know what he's like. He's a hard ass. He's a relentless guy. He's not gonna give up until either we win or he finds us. But we're gonna win. I think Man Tracker is probably a man's man. I'm sure he's uh, smart. Unfortunately, I just don't think he's at our level. <laughs> We're going to show him, you know, uh, that he's probably got a little bit more to learn. The cabin marks the end of cover. Ahead, it's all steep, rocky, and exposed. That's fucking steep, man. Deal with it. Get your mountain goat shoes on. Uh, hopefully they're here. He ain't going that way. He's going around the peak, man. You don't know that, dude. Where else is he going to go? Got a pretty good track right here. If that's the general direction, they got a hell of a climb ahead of them. The only choice for the prey, hours of jagged rock and hours of physical punishment. This guy could be anywhere right now. Hopefully we made some distance. They are. See those guys up there? He spotted me. This guy is on a ass, dude. I saw him, but I can't find him now. They hide up there like rats, don't they? Oh, there they go. Let them die in peace. For these guys, their only hope of escape is dead ahead. 1,500 grueling vertical feet of crumbling mountain. What do you need, dude? Need a hand? A third arm. I hope this horse is breaking legs. Luckily, we got the advantage with the rocks. I hope you can't make it up here with his horses. But I don't know, I heard a little bit about his sidekick there, Mad Max. This guy's apparently really good in the mountains. Backpacker, professional skier, ski patroller. If anyone's gonna make it up here, he is. 
Yeah, he's too close for this soon in the race. That's for sure, man. I wasn't expecting to start off with a 500 foot descent. Ascent. I can't wait to get over this ridge and hopefully it starts going down. But I think he's probably gonna have to go around. So, we just huck it up here. Maybe we got a good lead on him. Oh no, they're moving. 